helpful lovers welcome back to the channel if you're new here hit the subscribe button as well as the bell because you don't want to miss out on any of the experimenting yes guys I'm still wearing my twist out as you can see it's still looking good and all <laughs> So today I'm sharing with you guys my mint clove oil. Mint clove. Yes, so that's the oil I'll be featuring this month. And like I said, every month I do an oil. And that's the same oil I use for my pre pooing when I wash my hair and all. I do everything with this oil for the month. Hopefully I can start a segment where i come back at the end of the month and review this oil uh yeah just to let you know how it worked for my hair like i said this is a journey and this is me just experimenting with my hair finding out what works for it since i am new to this whole natural experience okay let's get into it so i'll be doing a double pot method normally let me get this out the way i would use my mortar and i would crush my clothes but i will not be doing that today okay so like i said i'll be using the double pot method so i fill my pot with some water and i place my pyrex dish you can use a metal bowl if you like okay I'm going to be placing one cup of coconut oil into my Pyrex dish and you note I'll, I'm doing this before the water even starts to boil, okay? So I'm placing my one cup of coconut oil as well as my cloves and I'll be using one tablespoon of cloves today if I was crushing my cloves. I would definitely be using more and that should be the reverse I know like when I'm not crushing them I should have used more but that's all fine I don't want it to be very strong and I'll be using about half cup of spearmint and I love the smell of this mint guys this is spearmint okay kinda look like apple mint but it is spearmint and mint brings a lot to the table mint is great for your hair okay let nobody tell you otherwise I love mint oils in my hair it helps to stimulate the scalp and all but this is not going to be a potent mint solution so you will note that the water starts to bubble a bit yes the oil is getting hot too as well and i leave it like this for a good 15 to 20 minutes So I'm mixing so that it can, you know, help to release the properties of the cloves and the mint and it smells divine. After doing this, I allow it to stay on for another 15 minutes on low, low flame. Then I allow it to cool down a bit and then transfer it into my glass jar. Now, naturally, if I had a dark jar, that's what I would put it in, but I don't. And so this is the jar I'm using and I place my jar right next to my oven. Yes. So whenever I use the oven, you know, some heat can be applied. Indirect heat can be applied to this. 
and I leave it like this for about a week to two weeks before using it. made before this is my wheat jam oil yes I also made orange peel oil yes I tried orange peel oil again and I've been using it successfully <laughs> without any fungus yes I learned the trick to it is to dry the orange peel and I did that in my air fryer. And this is what it looks like. And this has been, uh, I use some of it as you can see. And I allow it to stay in the mixture. I do not take it out. Anyway, this is about my mint clove oil. So the mint clove oil and I put just a little dash of rosemary and that's it okay guys so let me know if you try this oil that's the oil for the month enjoy <laughs> <laughs>